Now, how can architecture affect testability? Quite a lot. Um, the goal of testability is to allow this um, software to be tested easily. Now, to do that, uh, we want to test it when the software is being developed uh, or when it's being modified, so we have it under controlled circumstances. But the other circumstance where we might want to test it is when it's actually operational and in, and in operation, and we want some assurance that the software is functioning correctly. So we want that, that kind of uh, self-test um, characteristic we want. Now, testing does compute, consume high percentages of development cost. Um, I know that uh, the most visible component of development is actual code coding. Yeah? But in software engineering terms, the developing the testing takes about as much effort and time as developing the um, code itself. So we are doing, uh, we are spending a lot of money. And anything we can do to reduce the cost of testing will help. Uh, tactics for testability? Well, if the first tactic uh, that you might have is you have um, you build your system in mod you build a modular system so that you can take each module and plug it into some kind of a test bench um, or test harness and test it independent of the rest of the system. It's really hard when you've got a module that can't be decoupled from the rest of the system and you have to test it in place because it's it's um, it's very difficult to generate all the circumstances that would generate all the possible inputs to exercise that particular module completely and you're left with very much black box testing and very much undiscoverable conditions. So you, wherever possible you should design the system so that each module can be taken out of its context and plugged into a uh, test harness or test bench and tested separately. You also could uh, provide a trail of um, a, a transaction trail or an execution trail, some some trail of, um, of data showing what what has been going on within that module, and probably switch it on and off, because uh, you don't want it coming out all the time. But you want to be able to turn it on, and you can also provide specific tests at startup. Uh, this is frequently done with uh, hardware systems, where the first thing it does is it goes through a self test and says, "Yes, I'm okay." Uh, but the, uh, the big lesson there is make it modular. Now why wouldn't you make something testable? Well, if you're putting all that code in, uh, it's, cost, it's going to cost in terms of performance because even when you turn it off, there's still that decision making about should I run the testing or not. It also occupies resources, which is not a major problem in these days with, um, with a whole lot of virtual memory and uh, big memory. So that's not a, not a, a significant consideration but the performance um, consideration does matter. So testing opposes performance and it also opposes security because with testing you necessarily want a whole lot of um, access points into the system. With security you don't. You want the minimum number of access points into the system. So there's your trade-off. You can have it testable or you can have it secure. 